G'day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 29 of my multiplayer match against Gaming for the Colonel. We're playing Strategic Command American Civil Wars Wars in the Americas expansion. The 1898 Remember the Main campaign about the Spanish-American War. I am the Spanish and the Colonel is commanding the Americans and their native allies. Last turn the Colonel launched what will turn out to be his last big offensive. Landed a bunch of troops in the Philippines. Destroyed my brigade outside um, Cavite. Going to be bearing down on Manila now. Let's see what he has in store for us today. Should be very interesting. Bombard the fort. Same about that, that was a really nice fort. Don't, don't attack my HQ. Too rude. <laughs> Yes, he has Manila surrounded. Um, that's interesting. Hey, there we go. That's what we want to see. The start of the game, I was quite keen on destroying Theodore Roosevelt. I still have never seen him anywhere. I don't know where the Rough Riders are. I still want to get them. I, I don't think I will, but... Alright, we have four turns remaining. Let's see what we can do. Alright, he's cut off this area again. That's not ideal. Where's his navy? Yes, last turn he had a ship outside Santiago. <laughs> I managed to hit it. Um, that, was, that was fun. That was fun. Um, I'd like to know where the rest of his ships are, because I wouldn't mind doing that again if I can. I suspect most of them are in the Pacific. He's got at least five here. I think he only has about eight, eight units all up. Um, eight ships, that is. Okay. Really got two choices here. I can either um, keep the HQ there, it's just going to have to absorb hit after hit. Okay, we can get up to 10 if we want, or I'll swap it out, put a, put a brigade there, um, or put brigade in Manila, and um, put the HQ off to the side. Not sure what I'll do yet, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've won the game now, but... If he takes Manila, I only get a minor victory instead of a major victory. The thing's the Queen of Spain at this time. She's not going to be too impressed with me if I... <laughs> Despite absolutely thumping the Colonel's Navy, if I still only get minor victory, that's going to look absolutely pathetic in the record of history, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of you. Hey, there we go. Go home, Yankees. This is not your island. I'm going to sell it to the Kaiser. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that Spain would have actually kept Cuba too much longer, even if they had won the war. Um, yeah, almost definitely. They would have just given it to Germany or something, maybe the British. Um, that, that sort of assumed when it says Spanish victory, it's not Spain keeps all of their colonies. They might have been able to keep Puerto Rico. It's that give them to someone that, you know, hasn't defeated them in battle. Um, what's the defense on you? Um, one, and your attack is four. If I put brigade in instead, then, yeah, that's two defense. Let's do that. Actually, treasure Oh, the part of the anti do anything, though. Alright, um... Why isn't he under your command? Come on. Lazy unit doesn't want to fight! <laughs> Doesn't want to take orders. It's probably the better way to frame that complaint. Um, yes, 
dislocated parts of me. Whoop de doo. Really don't care. <laughs> Those partisans are worthless. Uh, they they can do a a bit of damage, but not a lot. Their main their main value is cutting supply and um, capturing towns. They they're not great in combat. Oh, just thought after I moved that, I hope he doesn't have a division here. Bring that up, bring the division up, smack the HQ. Well, up to this brigade to hold the line in Manila. Be very interesting what comes next turn. Mate. Units today are not doing the most spectacular job I've ever seen. Chase him out of there. His island doesn't belong to him. I mean, kind of does. He's, <laughs> he's a native, but no, we rule. <laughs> then you can have the Kaiser in a month or so. <laughs> of course, the game ends in. December 30th, so not not too long until we can sell this worthless island and clear out of here. But we will do it with honour. Why did you leave that fort open, mate? Part of me wants to just take it, just because I can. <laughs> I won't, it would be a bit, bit irresponsible, but... It would be fun to do it. Okay, there are storms. So, if I did move my fleet and attack him, it wouldn't do too much this turn. Where could he have gone? There, I suppose if he naval cruised, he could be 40 hexes away by now. How many ships does he have? He has nine. I know at least five of them are in the Pacific, That, and then we had a cruiser around here, I'm not sure where the other two are. Two, maybe three. Or do I move back to Havana and wait him out, that might be a plan. I don't want the disgrace of losing any more ships if I can help it. Um, Let's head back to port. Await news of his arrival, because it will come. He will be back. Wait, no oh, you lazy. You lazy coward, come on. No, not... We're not going to be seen by the Cubans. That would be, again, very irresponsible. We're going to wait for him to show himself, and I am going to try and ambush him again. Don't know if we'll be able to or not. Good so I'm a little bit concerned he might try and hit Puerto Rico, but in saying that, he'd have to have put his guys on boats by now to get there. He unloaded basically everything last turn. I'm not sure he has that many boats. Alright, I think that wraps up this turn. Could buy a couple of units. They're not going to arrive until next year though. By that time, it'll be up to the diplomats in Berlin to sort this mess out. Manila is still under siege, still holding strong. We will not be defeated there. And Colonel, it is your turn. Audience, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.